Welcome back to Columbus Community Hospital. Uh, this is the fall edition, so we're gonna do something a little different. We're also gonna do something sort of toward Halloween. So today we're gonna make a pumpkin ravioli. We're gonna make a squid ink pasta, so it's black. So it'd be nice for a Halloween party if you wanted to do uh, something slightly spooky. Making fresh pasta is pretty simple, but it's one of those things that's pretty gratifying because you do a little bit of work and when you eat it, it just tastes a little better just because you made it. So, pretty simple recipe. We're gonna start out with two cups of flour. I'm gonna put that in my mixing bowl here. And then what I've got here is two whole eggs and two egg yolks. And I'm gonna do two teaspoons of squid ink if you're looking for squid ink, you can get it on Amazon um, or a specialty grocery store. Squid ink. So once that's all mixed up, got my bowl here with the flour. Go ahead and dump that in. Should be worked. So we're to get it started. They keep the speed kind of low, let it start to incorporate itself. The old school way of doing this would be to take that flour and make a well on your table, put your eggs on the inside and slowly mix it in with a fork little by little to where you end up with what you're basically seeing here, except that this is doing the work for me. All right, so I'm just gonna work the rest of the flour into the dough. I'm just gonna keep folding it over. Push it in. What you're gonna wanna do is wrap this in plastic. You're gonna let it rest. For about 30 minutes, you wanna let this just sit at room temperature. Here I have one that I already did. And for your roller, you're just gonna wanna cut this into more manageable pieces for the roller. What you could also do, looks, squid ink pasta looks really cool, this spaghetti. Great with seafood. So now I just moved it to two, so we're gonna go a little bit thinner. So now we got our pasta rolled out, so we're gonna go ahead and cut our raviolis. So just working your way down. Pick whatever size you like. You can do squares if you want to cut them with a knife. Uh, I like the circular ravioli. Just a personal preference. So this is a pumpkin filling that I made earlier. Um, I roasted a pumpkin, uh, mixed it with some egg, some Parmesan cheese, um, a little bit of cinnamon, um, onion, Really, you can fill it with butternut squash for the fall, like any kind of squash you really like. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of filling in the middle. You don't wanna overfill it or else it'll pop out when you're closing it up. So let's seal it up. Got a little bit of egg wash here. This is just an egg beat with a, with a fork. So just set it right on top. Just kind of press down the edges, try to get the air out from around the filling without squeezing the filling through the edges. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a pretty, uh, pretty traditional sauce with a, like a butternut squash or a pumpkin ravioli, which is a brown butter and sage sauce. Um, I do have some hickory nuts that uh, our friend Diane up in our coffee shop was so gracious to donate to me. They're fantastic in this sauce. So what we're gonna do is we got boiling water already. Got these raviolis that I made earlier. So I'm gonna start dropping these in. Uh, depending on what your filling is, will determine how long you really need to cook your raviolis. This is a pretty light filling, so it's not gonna take long. And really what you're looking for is just for your raviolis to start to float. So once they start floating, you're pretty much good to take them out of the water. 
So this is a brown butter that I made a little earlier. All right, so I'm gonna add some of these hickory nuts to this brown butter. The raviolis are getting close, they're starting to flow a little bit. The sauce takes very little time, you're really just warming it up. I do wanna get a little bit of cook on those, on those nuts. Put a little bit of salt in there. I'm just gonna take my spoon. Start pulling these guys out. So now I'm getting a little bit of bubble around these hickory nuts. Start putting these in. really smell the hickory nut, the nutty from the brown butter. It really smells like fall food. So I'm gonna put a little bit of sage in here. Oh, that really smells like fall. That's, that's absolutely fantastic. This is a great dish. I'm gonna add a little bit more butter in here. I want a little bit more sauce. Touch more salt. It's that simple. Now we're going to plate this guy. Do it kind of family style. The sauce right over the top. So there it is, got squid ink pasta, pumpkin raviolis, hickory nuts, brown sage butter, perfect fall dish, perfect for a cool night wearing a sweatshirt. It's one of my favorite things. I hope you give it a try. Thank you so much for joining us. Come back next time. We'll see what we can get cooking. Thank you for watching this week's segment. Stay tuned weekly right here on the Columbus, Wisconsin Cable Facebook page for more videos about the Columbus community.